I now we're gonna review the Charlie's Angel trailer, and oh, I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I hope it's good. Um, I'm interested. There's so much you could do with Charlie's Angels, and from what I understand, they're gonna try and make them like different branches. And if they wanted to, they kind of could bring in Far. I think Farrah Fawcett somewhere to make it look like. It's part of that whole universe with the Charlie's Angels from the 2000s. And even if you felt like that was a little over the top, you don't have to say it's directly the same. You can say they're playing Charlie's Angels, the same characters, but they're more serious as it pertains to this film. And this is the first time you're going to see them there. You could play it off like that if you want. You know what I'm saying? Or you don't really have to even just you could just say, hey, it is what it is. But this is how we're doing the film, this film. But they're connected because if they're doing like this small Charlie's Angels everywhere, then that's interesting. And you can have like a rogue branch beef with another rogue branch. I mean, like, yo, I, I feel like there's so much you could do with this, like to play with it, have different variations of the source material. As long as you keep the core um, reasoning behind all of them. Now, I remember Charlie's Angels, but I didn't watch it like that. So I my relationship with it is very like that was the type of shows that my parents would have been watching you know what i'm saying like came up on so when i got next to it you know what i'm saying it was like when like when when they're playing in the old school shows on certain channels you know what i'm saying but neither in or there like i remember it like i remember it you know what I'm saying? But I can't really break nothing down. Like, the one that I could say that I really, really remember is um the 2000s one. And I haven't seen that in a minute. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, but let's go see what this one is. Hope it's good. I hear some people making certain Batwoman-esque references. And you know what we're going to do here at the Flix Picks and the Net Picks. We're going to keep it strict chaser we're gonna keep with 100 but also we're more about entertainment than actually getting too wrapped up into the social pol political shit because there are channels for that you know what i mean this is not what you come here and this is not what it's designed to exactly do but we do have you know spaces where we have to go into them realms when we're talking about fandom then we're gonna have to keep it 100 percent, and then we're gonna have to talk about the whole shebang when we get here but this is a trailer review so let's just do what we're supposed to do and let's just review let's get it check out the charlie's angels trailer right now She's directing it and she's producing it. Yeah, David that's what's up, man. These women can do anything. Just because they can doesn't mean they should. <laughs> but I have so many talents. It's like I'm powerful with a little bit of tender. Oh, I'm just a decoy, Stan. That's just the way you make me feel. Who feels? Your manager, you can't need money. Outstanding angels. Oh, that is so smart. I can that is so night. smart. I'm the lead programmer on a product that can revolutionize the power industry. But there is a possibility it can be weaponized. And I'm not sure need to go. You know no. I'm bringing bombs. You're not a waitress? No, I'm Jane. Oh. Mm. Who are you? I'm Bosley. Uh, Welcome to the Townsend <laughs> Agency. We exist because uh, traditional law enforcement can't keep up. I don't like that, boy. You guys are like lady spies. Dane's former MI6. Oh, God. What did you do to Sven? I compressed his carotid and deoxygenated his brainstem. Well, that sounds painful. Don't worry. He's going to wake up. Unless he doesn't. Sabina runs the ground oh, game. Oh, she's looking nice. See, I know stuff. Let's get the weapon before it becomes every bad guy's favorite new toy. Take her to the closet, gear her up. We're gonna need some wigs, toys, Feisty. clothes. Ah, we're still in the first closet. There's another closet. Oh my god. Oh, Vince. Let's oh, just stop that's... the touching. Some of these blows up. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, are you flirting with a handsome nerd? <laughs> of course not. <laughs> How'd that feel? Because it looked like it felt 
really good. That felt nice. Here we go! I really like that. Like, I really like that. I really like that. The opening, I mean, uh, even though it's all you need, and like I always say, man, that would have been cool for 90s marketing. You know what I mean? Um, Early 2000s, you could have swung that. Mid-2000s, like maybe 2011, but now you get 20, going past 2012, especially 2014, 15, you, you kind of needed to dial that, like, like be self-aware at that point. Because the way the image, and I think even then would have been a little easier. Like this past two years, I just think that there's no need to do it because, not because it's wrong. I'm just talking marketing. I just wouldn't market it this way. There's enough of that. It's starting not only to become redundant, it's almost you're kind of feeding the ideals of others to think that it's more agenda driven where if you just watch it on its own, I don't really see an agenda. I just see a a knockoff tag that they always would do in any other film to sell it to show is girl power. But to be honest, you kind of need to because Charlie's Angels, that's what they always were. So it's not like you're doing a flip or something else. But still, if you want to ride that wave, like say this was the 90s again. And this was like right around Spice Girls where that was becoming like, you know, the energy for the, for the little girls and women and all that shit. Then, then you might want to surf the wave. But now that energy is not just tied into just music, fun and all that. It's starting to get caught up in a lot of social social and even economical politics where we're putting a lot of that into and you're starting to see a lot of kickback and we put marketing films and stuff like that pushing this before however wrong or right you're going to experience a certain flux i just wouldn't have marketed the film like that i think that line would have probably worked more in the film and even if it was a whack line it would have just been a whack line in a two-hour film as opposed to a whack line in a a, a, a two and a half minute trailer makes sense you know what i'm saying i'm just saying like i really think they need to be better with the marketing for these female um driven um especially action flicks you know what i'm saying because it's starting to feel like or seem like and whether i feel like this or not i could just at least be honest enough to see how this could this could have been an issue like before even people said anything you know what i mean not because i would have even caught it it would have been like, I don't know, but then it was the only one. I said, this might go over, but not now. Not right now. We got to let this subside a little bit because you're going to get a little bit of a tinge behind it. But even if you're going to sell it at this climate, I'm glad they only left one. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad they only left one because it would have just opened up a whole other can of worms that we didn't need to. But we're going to watch this one again because I like this fucking trailer. And we're going to check this shit out. And go. Check out the Charlie's Angels trailer right now. Let's the thing. I don't know about the Bosley joint. You know, was Bosley a girl always? I mean, I'm not married to it. It may make sense, but they're saying that it's international. So, hey, wait a second. Hold on again. Let me let me play this again one more time. Because I want to play that line again. No more. Um, um, let's do this again. Go. Check out the Charlie's Angels trailer right now. Don't call me Angel. Maybe don't make I think women can do anything. Just because they can doesn't mean they should. <laughs> but I have so many talents. It's like I'm It's kind of corny, but it makes sense to the character because she's a decoy. She's acting like she's a yut. So she kind of lined it up like that and he just say some dickhead shit, but whatever. Outstanding angels. So that's Charlie. Is that Charlie? You have a new client? Who is she? Because that would make sense. Nice. I'm the lead programmer on a product that can revolutionize the power industry. But there is a possibility it can be weaponized. Elena, we need to so move. that's why they would get her no, into it. You're not a waitress? No, I'm Jane. Oh. Mm, I like that shit. And they drive a fly car. She's looking nice. Who are you? I'm Bosley. Bosley, okay. Welcome to the Townsend Agency. 
We exist because traditional law enforcement can't keep up. I don't like that, boy. You guys are like lady spies. Dane's former MI6. Oh, God. What did you do to Sven? I compressed his carotid and deoxygenated his brain stem. Well, that sounds painful. I love that painful. Accent. Don't worry. He's gonna wake up. Unless he doesn't. She Did looks real good here. I like, like she, I like her little funky style. It works for her. It works for her. Let's get the weapon before it becomes every bad guy's favorite new toy. Take her to the closet, gear her up. We're gonna need some wigs, toys. Feisty. Clothes. Ah, we're still in the first closet. <laughs> There's another closet. Oh, Vince. Let's just stop the touching. Some of these blows up. I love phosphorus. Yeah, it's my favorite chemical. <laughs> Jane, are you flirting with a handsome nerd? Of course not. Okay. How'd that feel? Because it looked like it felt really good. That felt nice. Here we go! Mm. We hit it together, but don't call me Angel. Good morning, Angels. Good morning, Charlie. Yeah, so that is a Charlie, okay. I like this. I like this. I like that a lot. Like I really fuck with this. Like I might go see half to see definitely. That's that's a theater joint. And I like the fact it's old school action, guns busting and all of that shit, man. I'm with it. Like I fuck with it. Like I don't know what niggas is talking about with all that other shit. Where everyone else is talking about that other shit. I mean that first little little tag not for me. Not for me in terms of let me say it this way. It didn't bother me. I'm cool with it. But and I wouldn't have done that for the marketing. But I also understand the urge not to use it. It's going to get people talking. But you would have hoped people would have realized after if you got past it, there was nothing left. But like I said, that was a dicey thing. But it got people talking. But you can't deny the trailer the trailer doesn't really other than bosley might be being gender bended but if they're saying it's international that means bosley could be played by anybody and this is their version and i don't know if they're using their their the actual names of the real characters too or those are code names so i don't know which way they're going with it because i don't remember the angels names so i don't know how they're playing this um in any event though i just still like it because even with the changes that they would have made be it gender and or otherwise it doesn't seem like it really even though it might not be necessary you got a a, 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 a actress and it happens to also be the director so i mean that was gonna happen bossly <laughs> but it it works for what she's bringing to the table like an old school fly chick you know what i mean like on an oprah winfrey fly well a little younger than that of course much younger than that i don't guess but but still much older you know what i mean um fly fashionista for that for this generation of that age you know that um chris jenner is that her name the mo mother of the kardashians that type of chick fly but she's older and she's gonna be kind of like their mentors or their uh in their um liaison between um them and uh charlie so basically she'll be Charlie's mouthpiece. And, Cause if I'm not mistaken, that's how Bosley was always depicted anyway. He was just there. I don't want to say den mother per se, but kind of basically like just watching over him. You know what I mean? And kind of being their active guy on the field as opposed to the main guy that ran everything, which was Charlie. But that's either here or there. I like what I see. Let me know if you like it or not. And also, I mean, for the sake of argument, because this is the energy out there, does this, is this a thing that bothers you? Does that line really throw you off? For me, like I said, marketing, I don't know if I would have did it anyway, but that if I was going to, if I felt like that's the scene that I want to open with, because it was a cool scene to set you off, to make you think this is what it's going to be about, but then you turn it over. That's the way I would have looked at it, and I'd have said, no, believe me, people are going to be smart enough to see that. We're just starting off cheesy, but this ain't it what it's about and clearly if you watch the whole trailer they didn't pepper that opposition against men men that male female gender dynamic shit they just you know kept it moving so and anyway 
and, and like I said, man, like, share, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think. And as always, I'll have a better outro. Cheer her up. We're gonna need some wigs, toys, Feisty. clothes. Ah, we're still in the first closet. There's another closet. Oh my god. Oh, mince. Let's just stop the touching. Some of these blows up. Yeah. <laughs> Jane, are you flirting with a handsome nerd? Of course not. <laughs> How'd that feel? Because it looked like it felt really good. That felt nice. Here we go! We in it together. Don't call me Good morning, angels. Good morning, Charlie.